Hey, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how in the heck do you play music through your system in your Tahoe? How do you get your music to go through there? So, I'm gonna tell you how I do it and how a lot of other people do it and what files you should look for and all that jazz. But first, Alright, so in this video we're going to be going over a very commonly asked question is how do you play your music, what's the best way to play your music, what's the best files to play, so let's jump right into this. A lot of people play their music off of a USB stick, it's very simple, so obviously you would plug this into your computer, go get your music, whichever flavor that you like, stick it on here, stick this into your CD player, or like my CD player doesn't have one, some of them have it on the face. Some of them have like a USB cable coming out that you can put like in the glove box, that's where mine is. You stick it in there, set it, forget it, until you wanna put more music on there. And uh, so this is one way of getting music to your head unit. Obviously you can play, I don't know too many people doing it off of CDs anymore. You might still have some people with some eight tracks, who knows. Um, but anyway, that's the way you can get some music into your vehicle onto a CD or like playing through your head unit or source unit, whichever you wanna call it. Other people, such as myself, we use a iPad or an iPhone or some sort of um, cellular device or, uh, I don't know, a tablet, what, whatever you want to uh, do. So you could use your uh, phone to get signal. Obviously, you would plug your phone in and plug into your phone here and go over to your head unit. Uh, some people have Bluetooth connectivity. You can connect via Bluetooth. Uh, I know there's different styles of Bluetooth, different qualities of Bluetooth. Until you're getting into, I would say, super high levels, I'm, I mean, obviously it's very important to have as clean a signal as you uh, can, clean music, clean signal. Um, so me personally, I believe running, say for an iPhone, your lightning cable out of the bottom of here over to your head unit would give you the cleanest signal because it's being transferred via that wire. And with Bluetooth, you could have any type of in interference going on there, in my opinion, maybe I'm wrong. Um, but that's my thoughts on it. So I would say wired over doing a Bluetooth signal. Uh, and the other thing with people using their cell phones as their, man, this is a pet peeve of mine. You go to get a demo from somebody and they, they start playing their system, somebody calls and it cuts off the, the demo and you're like, they're trying to hang up, they're trying to decline the call, and it causes like this whole disruption. I saw somebody lose a base competition. They were doing like a base race against somebody, and midway through their uh, run, somebody called, and that just ruined their whole run, and they couldn't rerun. It was like a final or whatever. So they lost because they were playing music off of their phone, and I, I, I'm not a big fan of that. but. Anyway, if, if you're doing that, like you gotta do what you gotta do, but nobody likes to hear a phone call come through while you're playing your music. Uh, so me, personally, I use an iPad in my Tahoe. So I go from an iPad to a DSP, and then from the DSP, obviously, to the amps and to the speakers. So that's how I do it. I just go and get the music that I want loaded on the iPad. And yes, my music on my iPad is super old. Um, there's some people coming out. As far as getting the latest, greatest, uh, bass head music. There's a couple of people out there and I got all of mine from a guy it was decaf music back in the day. I'm still playing this to this day but the problem with people going and making bass music out of somebody else's music is it's not really legal because you're taking somebody else's product altering it a little bit and some of them are selling it so I don't know. But anyway so a lot of people will get their music this way but I'm not going to you can probably go on any of the Facebook bass groups or Instagram or whatever and find ways to get bass music there, the latest and greatest on that. So we'll leave it at that. As far as different file types when it comes to playing music, I don't know a ton about the different file types, uh, but I do. I have heard that FLAC files are the highest quality. That This is what people that do sound quality and stuff like that use as FLAC files and something else. Maybe you guys can help me out with the other. I think there's one or two other ones other than FLAC files 
uh, for really high-end sound quality systems. So if you can remember those, put them in the comments below and I'll let people know what that is. But for most people, like your standard type of files are going to be fine that you're going to, that people are going to have the uh, music listed as on their whoever is doing the editing they're going to do is if it's a quality editor of a person that's wanting to get good uh, work out there good bass music out there they're not going to make a junky music or a junky song for you to play because one you're going to have distortion coming through clipping it's going to make your speakers heat up faster than they need to it's not going to sound good and they shouldn't want that on their name Anyway, I hope this information has found you well. Comment in the comment section below what way you're playing your music and what files you are using so we can see who wins on like how you're playing your music. Are you using an iPhone? Are you using a CD player with a USB stick? Let us know what you're running in yours. And as always, if you need anything, hit us up 702-701-9800. Or you can go to the website. I was going to say www, but everybody knows www these days downforsoundshop.com home of the down for sound difference guaranteeing the lowest prices fastest shipping best customer service see you in the next one what's happening guys if y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video be sure to follow me on youtube facebook tiktok instagram under the life of price and also down for sound shop on facebook and instagram and don't forget snapchat i'm jpd4s on there so be sure to check me out there we'll see you in the next one later